Hey Bass Geek here, and we've got goodies from subscribers, goodies from Lou's, and some real cool baits you may have never seen. Okay guys, so this is a unboxing of stuff that I have bought randomly wanting to try out. I've got some really neat things I can't wait to show you. It's also an unboxing of some stuff that an awesome subscriber sent me and some awesome companies that sent me some stuff. Now, one thing, guys, I'll never ask you for anything. I would rather you spend your money on you and, and buy yourself some more fishing goodies, okay? But if you do want to send me something to get me to try it, get me to talk about it on a video that I may not try otherwise or even know about because I don't know about every single bait and rod and reel and whatever in the fishing world uh, out there, there is a P.O. box down in the description. You can, you know, send me some stuff if you want to. Especially if you're a smaller bait company. I love to feature small bait companies on my show to get the word out about your products. I mean, you know, we could talk about Third Eye Fishing, Ramsey Baits that we featured last year, 304 Baits that I found from West Virginia. Can't wait to get those out on the water and try those out. They're, they're jerk baits, pretty interesting. So, you know, a lot of good smaller companies that make some really cool tweaks on baits that may already be out there or uh, their own full design. As they always say, everyone's trying to build a better mousetrap and uh, I like to feature those baits because I really believe a lot of innovation is really brought forth from the smaller bait makers. Anyway, I I'm not begging for stuff, don't get me wrong. If you guys wanna send stuff, I very much appreciate it, much like these companies right here. So let's get to looking at some products. So number one, I know you all know I love the Z-Rush product from Flambo. Now, I've been a Flambeau fan forever and a day. You can go back to my beginning uh, videos when I was in the dungeon at the old house, and you can see that behind me, I have had a ton of Flambeau stuff. Flambeau, Flambeau, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Now, they've got this the Z-Rust Max boxes out. This is not some of those, but this is their A-Rig a boxes. And what I like about this, man, when they sent me some, they sent me a whole, basically a whole case of them. And so what I love is that you can take and rig up like two or three individual, put the put them in there and rig them up. And they come with the Z-Rust tab. Listen, guys, I tell this story, and this is a God's honest truth. A few years back, I'd lost a whole, and I mean a big jig box, because I, y'all know I love some jig fishing piss pouring rain put it out there you know you're getting in and out throwing jigs changing jigs and they got wet so they rusted on me and that sucks because i lost a ton of money in jigs that year and so i went on the look for something to solve that problem this company has been doing the z rust and, and i'm actually going to have them on a live stream so they can talk about it this was actually developed for military purposes. So they've been in the anti-rust game for longer than any company out there. And that's why I stick with them is because I know for a fact they do it better than any company out there. I appreciate you Flambeau for sending me, Flambeau, Flambeau, whatever you want to call it. I'm sorry, I don't mean to butcher your name. I want to say Flambeau, the umbrella rig storage because I've been losing a lot of umbrella rigs in the old, uh, We'll just say it rhymes with a no, okay? How's that? So now, the cast company, who actually reached out to me a little while back, they've got a killer new top water. I hope they're gonna send me the smaller version. I've got the bigger version, and I've got some ideas on where I wanna fish that. The smaller version, I'm really excited about. But the cast company sent me, and I've seen these online, and man, they look sick. I love the tail. I like the tail design because it gets wide at the bottom. And so I, I, it looks like they have some tremendous action. This is White Pearl. This is their Prodigy swim baits. So soft plastic swim baits. These things are incredibly soft, really fine tail. So, but look at that boot tail, how it kind of squares off at the bottom. So you're probably gonna have a real wide kick 
These things are going to be great, I think, in cold and dirty water. They're a great color. I'm telling you, that pearl, there's a little bit of blue essence in this, which makes it really interesting to throw around those smallies I like to fish for in the spring. So a good looking color right there. Again, white pearl, three inch size, perfect size. This is a wild color, almost changes. Like I'm gonna show you this, but it's totally different when it's against a solid background. It's almost purple, but when you raise it up, it's almost, almost translucent and I'm, I'm guessing you guys are seeing that i'll do this maybe that'll change it for you but anyway so this is the blue moon i like it again it's a it's translucent but it's it's got a really pearl essence to it again three inch from them this is really the first time i've, I've looked at these now here's a good looking color uh, silver body, kind of a gold back, blood shadow. This is great, got a lot of red flake in there. Good color here. This is Sartreuse Glow Pearl. And last but not least, a great translucent color. This is Purple Rain. So it's got some purple uh, flake in it. But, you know, again, really translucent. You hold it up. So some great looking baits from Cast great looking swim baits right there that's kind of where this comes in these i seen somewhere i don't remember where what i find funny about it being an it guy is the company's name is cat 3 so cat 3 is actually your telephone cable that's you know cat 5 cat 6 i some of you guys probably don't have the first clue about what any of that is but these are really neat and i'm going to try and pop one open for you i picked up three of these and just the the different things you can do with this i think is going to be really really interesting this is the the cat three you can create your own storm you know being able to put this up the line from and i'll i'll kind of show you here on the back being able to put that up the line from a swim bait or you know, a chatterbait, a crankbait, a jerkbait. I mean, this is going to create something totally different than I think a lot of bass have ever really seen. I am really excited about getting out and throwing with, you know, just, just a single swim bait. Of course, you know, surprise, I'm gonna throw it with swim bait. But even, like I said, you know, put this up the line from a, from a crankbait, a lipless, the options are incredible i will put the links in the description of this video as to where you can get a hold of these products all these products now i did pick up some lose i picked up four of these but these are the custom pros i don't even have them opened yet these are lose kind of highest of the high end i think they're a hundred and thirty dollars each and i picked up a three thousand and a two thousand in these this is one of my favorite spinning reels i got them on sale sadly i don't even remember where <laughs> but good looking reel right there big fan of the lose custom pro probably one of my favorite spinning reels this is the like the 200 size and i'll just kind of compare them just a little bit smaller version of it i've got some finesse baits that i've I've got an idea to put those on. This is one, if you're on a budget, uh, you don't want to spend $130, $140 on a spinning reel. This one comes in, I believe, in that lower range. I want to say right around 40, 50 bucks. And this is, these are great reels. I've got several of them. These are just the good old lose speed spins. So this is the 300 series or the SS 30 HS, basically a 300, 3000, whatever you want to call it. Good looking reels, good solid reels. They get the job done. Uh, and I got a couple of those also. I didn't get a, a 200 size in these. I just got the 300 and I got, I got three of those actually. I just need to up my uh, spinning game some. So, you know, getting my spinning rods and my spinning reels kind of stocked up and, and and updated now this is from leather stocking angler thank you sir thank you very much he sent a ton of stuff a ton of stuff to me 
So we're going to go through a bunch of it. Here is from Monster Bass. This is a popper. We've got some bigger uh, hollow body swim baits here. This is Reaction Strike. Looks like a good shad color. Got a Z-Man frog. I do not have any Z-Man frogs. Got a lot of Booyah and Spro. We've got some Mayhem with some Liquid Mayhem in there. These are kind of Ned style worms. Black Neon Watermelon Red. We've got a Banger. A Guggen Squad Square Bill. We've got the Shad Nasty Gold Mine. This is a six count Excite swim baits. I do like those swim baits. Here's something that I'm absolutely jacked up about. Now I've already got these colors. This is the five inch version of the Biospawn. This is uh, like sexy shad. These are the ones that I haven't been able to get from them. And so I'm really glad he sent me these. These are going straight to the wall because they're going to get used. I think it's just a minnow is what they call it. Again, the five inch and I haven't been able to get the five inch. Great looking bait there. We've got Mr. Twister, the green pumpkin pocket hog riser. So this is kind of like a brush hog from Mr. Twister. We've got some more Mr. Twister here. And this is watermelon red, so a couple of my favorite colors. We got some more Mr. Twister. These are the five inch pocket phenom watermelon red. Looks like a ribbon tail. Now, this is something that I actually don't have and I'm glad they, that he sent. Thank you very much because this is the 10,000 fish. I'm a huge 10,000 fish fan. This is the Headhunter. It's like a little bluegill. It's got some sort of magnetic snag resistant head in it. That's pretty neat. Yeah, the hook is actually buried in there. When I see the bluegills on the bed, that's coming out to play. Now here's, uh, I've actually got a couple packs of these. These are black and blue. I haven't tried them out yet. I think these will be great on a Carolina rig. This is the Flutter Wings and Tackle Tail. This is the Zucci Bug from 10,000 Fish. Good color right there. Can't go wrong with black and blue. This is Bassin Plastics. There is a phone number on here. Good looking little white swim bait, kind of in that sight flash color. Looks like they're real soft. I bet those will be bad to the bone on the old A rig. Got another pack from Bass and Plastics. Now this is a pretty wild color. It's got like a real bluish purple back, kind of a brown belly. Again, those look like they're probably about 3.8, four inch. And last but not least, we've got a, poor thing's been through the ringer, a Guggen Squad Frog. Got that in black, one of my favorite colors to throw. All right. Thank you, Leather Stocking Angler. I appreciate that. Hope I'm not butchering your name. Thank you for all these baits. I will put them to use without a doubt. Like I said before, guys, if you guys want to send me something, get my opinion on it, see if I can uh, try it, maybe go out and try to catch some fish on it. You know, there's a P.O. box in the description down there. Shoot it to me. Like I say, I always say spend your all's money on you. If you just want to see me talk about a certain bait or give my opinion on a bait, shoot it over to me. You know, you just literally shoot me one bait. Send me a note. Let me know, of course, what you want me to do with it. Anytime. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the gear. As you all know, I have a addiction to fish and tackle. <laughs> I'm always out buying this stuff for myself anyway, so I appreciate it. You guys just saved me a little bit of money. Thank you very much. As always, questions and comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk fishing with you. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so you get the notifications. Again, I'll say it. Support real angling. Support your local weekend warriors. Me, Debo, you know, us guys, we don't do this for a living. Would we like to do this for a living? Well, sure. Who wouldn't want to fish for a living? But at the same time, we're the guys out there just like you, sharing the knowledge, sharing everything that we can share with you, being honest about the stuff we're out there using. Hopefully, we're going to get a lot more fishing videos coming real soon. But as always, you guys rock.